I'm gonna hit you so hard you won't see nothing ever, 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 ever. Audio scars all day, day. And we just want to welcome you guys. Um, thank you for the small little bit of delay we had there. It is what it is. We're trying new shit. Well, I was streaming this week, um, and because we, I had to tr- move the computer from place to place, um, it takes a little bit of effort to try to remember what the settings are. It's, it's quick. It's it's just a test right now. It's nothing crazy. Just so just everybody relax on the new camera. It's just might not even last long. But yeah, we've got the the third camera angle going on here, so you can see from the other perspective of the mad scientist it's lab. just some shit that we're testing right now because we've been wanting to get a third angle but it's just been a rough go at it but anyway we're here now we're here we're live we're here to entertain the masses as we do every saturday night r- live around 6 30 p.m ish or Twitch. seven at this point <laughs> yeah or tomorrow um that's okay um hopefully everybody had a nice uh holiday nice christmas jared i hopefully you had a, a good one um Everybody's here. Ghost Chips. Yeah, what's up, Ghost Chips? What's going on, buddy? G-Man. G-Man. Londa, Epic. Oh, man. Thank y'all for being here. Yeah, uh, got a full house. I like that. Hope everybody had, had a good holiday. Well, we're, we're halfway through. We're almost on the other side, I guess. Yeah, we're almost there. Uh, tomorrow being New Year's Eve and Monday being New Year's Day. Londa, um, you talking about the Edwards fight? Um, I think I saw it. I might have been a little twisted after. On the camel. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw it. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it was a good fight. No, but uh, Christmas was great, man. Uh, Santa Claus came to town. Got to love that guy. And you know what I've realized? As I've gotten older, why should we leave Santa Claus milk and cookies? We need to leave him chicken and beer. I just saw a TikTok on all that shit recently, like where all that shit comes from. You know what's crazy? If you could enlighten me on how that started. I, don't, I, did, I, I, don't, I didn't like pay that hard of attention to it, but like the milk and cookies shit, it, basically... All this stuff comes from, like, pagan rituals. Oh, God. Um, but, yeah, like, leaving the milk and cookies had something to do. I forgot what it was. But it was. it's not, like, we, there's no reason for us to be leaving milk and cookies. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but we're adults, and I feel he would appreciate chicken and beer, and so I left it out, and he took it, and thank you, St. Nick. We can't wait to see you in another Wait, three- who took it? Santa Claus. Well, that was you under the tree, motherfucker. <laughs> With what grease stains on Put, my shirt? Yeah, dude. Putting fucking the presents under that you bought. I, I'm going to tell you something, man. I uh, For the first time in probably several Christmases, I mean, legitimately, maybe 10 years, I was I got a gift that legit surprised me. I was shocked. I literally didn't know what to expect. I got the usual little bit of clothes stuff you know the socks the good stuff um but then there was a box sitting there and i was like oh who's this for and they're like oh it's for you rj santa left it and i was like oh santa you know sorry i have to pretend i'm eight sometimes uh, and i don't act like that in front of my family and if i did i would never tell you but anyway so i open up this box and lo and behold santa claus has blessed the pizza man with a laptop and printer Oh wait wait, 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 wait! Hold on, yeah, I was I was about to be impressed until you said printer. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> we need those map quest directions, my friend. You know, we really, really do. This uh, motherfucker said printer. I mean, uh, it's finally you got a laptop. Yeah, no, really, really nice. Uh, got an HP. Uh, if you want me to tell you the specs on it, I didn't really look on it. I literally ripped it open. The okay. one thing you should be looking at is, I uh, mean, no, it'd be rude to do that when you just got the gift. It would be rude to look at the specs on it. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, look at this shit. Like that. <laughs> no, and I will tell you, um, and I'll show it to you when we uh, finish up the show, because I actually wanted you to check it out, and I want to make sure I take care of this thing the proper way, software-wise, so I know you're uh, somebody who can definitely help me with that. I mean, um, there's not much to do. Just don't go to fucking nasty sites. I, I don't anymore. It's it's um, it's not good for your brain. Um, but I, I get you, Londa. Yeah, but he he needs something. They're like that doesn't matter what it is. He needs something. Like I want to upgrade this one. It's the crazy part about it. I'm ready to upgrade. This. And so I was like legit, like oh shit! Like it was the first. And I don't want to say I haven't gotten real Christmas gifts in the past. That is days. a real Christmas gift. It is a real it's gift. Something you you've needed for a while. Yes. And I just I was like 
literally shocked. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. Whoever gave you that, you got to fucking thank them wholeheartedly. Yeah, well, yes, St. Nick. And that's why uh, yeah. That's why we're from now on, we're leaving them chicken and beer. No, all right. Yeah, all right. So, uh, but I did sit down with it for a little while, tinker with it. It's got so many cool things on it. And I like the mouse it came with. It's just nice style. It clicks really well. Obviously, that's what mouses do. <laughs> But I just like the style of it. You know, the strange thing is, because I got a Amazon gift card from work, and uh, it wasn't. I, I kept looking. I was like, I want something. Like, do I want an iPad? I'm like, fucking. What's the point of an iPad? To be honest, um, I I I just ended up like just. So I ended up buying since I was going to start streaming again. Yeah. Because I'm now in Prodigy RP. Yeah, I didn't get to say it last week, but I got uh, my application got accepted to um, Prodigy RP, so I'll come check me out. Son. Yeah, check, Jared, give yourself a round of applause while oh, thank we're you, at thank it. You, yeah, yeah, and give yourself a round. It's pretty hard to get in some of these fucking servers. Although two other servers, well, well, no Pixel, um, they opened up 4.0, so a lot of the major streamers and uh, like role players from the over the years went back over there, and then Onyx, which is another server that was from the developers of no pixel, but they left whole fucking drama. I'm that's what I want to make sure I stay out of in the RP world is all the fucking side drama. I don't want nothing to do that. I, I'm just there to play the fucking game. Yeah, they're they're you're their man on a mission. Yeah. Um Probably so now Jack. so now Prodigy a lot of people there is a lot less people on there. It's like a hundred short of what the server size is. But I feel like as long as people that come from the right places like i i come from watching some of the highest level guys yeah. do it so it's like and i'm in the chat and then i'm friendly with the um with the mods and the mods are in that server too so i think over time that it'll be it'll get built back up to something good as as role players emerge from that server yeah um so I, that's, that's why i'm glad i was like all right got in i don't have prio I, I can work on that shit later because they want you to pay for Pryo. Uh, fuck that shit. Um, it's like 200 bucks for the highest level of Pryo. Ooh, is that like a, a month? month? Oh, a month. wow, yeah. dude. That's yeah. a, dude, if I'm paying 200 bucks a month, that sounds like a car payment or a bill. Uh, like that's, it's definitely a bill. That's not, I'm not a subscription. That's a way of But life. that's why I'm glad. <laughs> that's why I'm glad I, I got in and like out of 250, there's I, like the last couple of days I've been looking, it's like 150 like pe- players on the on the server. But I got you. Whatever. Um, so I was, that's why we had the technical difficulties because I was playing, trying to get everything set up, the sound set up, and I still couldn't get the sound to come back from the game. I could hear it here in my headphones, but I couldn't get the game to come through to Twitch. I gotcha. So it was, that's why all the fucking settings are fucked up for this. Uh, but anyway. So I ended up ordering a new keyboard and mouse. Oh, nice. Because, nice. like, trying to play on this, like, when the, the laptop's over here, but I'm on my fucking big monitor. Yeah. Like, so I, I need something that's right in front of me, and then I got a new mouse in there. It's like a gaming thing. It wasn't the most really expensive. Cool, there are some really cool mouse designs out there. Well, yeah, I, I got all that, but it's got lights on it and shit. Oh, nice. Um, And then I have my, my background kind of set up, and then this new uh, setup with the camera. So that's I'm, gonna be cool. I'm I'm digging this. But I got a I got one of those uh, LED lights that go in the corner that have lights on it. Yeah. So it'll be glowing in the background. Oh, that's while cool. The man. cameras on it. So like I'm I'm I'm, I'm trying I'm out here. I'm trying yeah. to be a real streamer. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, big nuts around here, dragging them all over you bitch ass motherfuckers. Anyway, um, that is uh, uh, that is uh, my. 58th uh, personality that I hide in my closet. Anyway. Oh, yeah, we know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the closet of doom. Um, but I was just really cool. I was just very happy with what I got, and I was tinkering with it, and I was like, oh, man, I can't wait to show this to Jared. And I actually didn't even want to text you. I got it. I actually wanted to show it to you to, I wouldn't say surprise you or anything like that. Is it red? Been... I feel like it's red. No, no, it's silver. It's oh. a, I mean, if it was red, I'd still be happy with it. I mean, yeah, no, I, 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 I had a, did I have an HP before. Yes, I did. Um, well, it was a refurbished HP. Um, the one before that was an Acer. It's like 100 bucks, but that was in like 2010. Uh, didn't do very much and didn't last long. And then when we first started doing this again, actually, no. No, when we first started doing this. Um, I, I know we've made a lot of upgrades since the well, conception. Well, no, that's when show, I had the yeah. HP. Yeah. Um, but I the trying to edit video and render video 
was just too much work for that computer. So I had to upgrade, and then when I had a chance, and I had to, I was like, I got some money. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is fucking upgrade this fucking computer. Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's a part of the process. It's a part of... Now I want to upgrade this one, because then I can use this one for just streaming here uh, for Twitch, and then I can get one for streaming at home, like, that's upgraded. Not that, that way, when new games come out, like uh, GTA 6, you yeah. know, I'll be ready. You know oh, I mean? dude, I am, my body With is, like. With the 4090 up in that bitch? Dude, my body is, like, ready for that. We're it, all ready. Yeah, we're, it's so great. And, you know what, since we're on the subject of GTA, recently, I don't know, we uh, are super, super big Red Dead Redemption 2 fans. Mm-hmm. Um, recently, I've been finding just, because our phones are always listening, uh, I've been just doing, you know, doom scrolling like everybody else. Oh, it's been bad lately for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and, and what, we're going to get to that in a little bit. Um, but I've been finding some uh, just posts uh, from Red Dead Redemption fan pages that are just popping up randomly. Oh, yeah, I get them on TikTok. Um, and some of the, the screenshots these guys take of Arthur or whatever. And they're really, really good. You know, the funny part is, that's linear thinking or parallel thinking because I was watching something today and I was like, I wonder what will be a good Arthur Morgan sound effect that we could add to the board. But everything that I found was kind of shitty, so I was like, I don't know. I will, I will look into that as well because he's got some really good yeah. lines in there, but some of them are very morbid and sad. Some no, of the more well, most gut wrenching moments are. No, a lot of it is that I kept hearing was mostly him talking to the fucking horse, um, which you can do that on your own every fucking time. Um, I don't know, but what gave me the idea was this: it was a a guy on a roof, two guys on a roof, and one was recording the other one. He was like, "Hey, Arthur, um, what do you think? Of, what do you think about so and so?" He was like, "I don't know." He just made the voice, yeah. like he was, like, "I don't know about Blackwater. Mm. Where's that money?" Yeah, like, it was. Just, <laughs> I was like, "Oh, that's it." Actually, you know what? Are there any actual like sounds that would be cool for us to use on the show by Arthur Morgan? I think I think we can do some digging. There's probably endless pages of dialogue. We're gonna uh, have to yeah, we're yeah. gonna have to play the game and um, fucking find. And some so good stuff. that uh, that led me to this. Um, I and then I was reading some of the comments under it. I was like, you know what? Me and Jared talk about this so much. Let me see what other people have to say about it. Legitimately, yeah. And everybody's just like, oh, this is Rockstar's greatest character ever, and they are uh, uh, greatest game so far ever. Uh, yes, I agree with that, and uh, th- he is the greatest character. Because people forget about the details of that game that, that you don't know unless you pay attention. And again, I get a lot of those on TikTok where it'll say, it'll be like, these are details that you may not have known. And it's like the wildest shit. Like, if you, there's one that if you shoot an arrow or next to a lamp and the lamp is casting a shadow, you can see the arrow hit the whatever and bounce, the shadow will bounce on the, like, it'll move with the arrow yeah, in it's, the background. It, it's crazy the little things that we overlook because we get so immersed in this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it, uh, and everybody just had nothing but praise about it. And so here very shortly, very, very shortly, and I know I've, uh, I am going to be replaying through that entire game uh, because... Well, I would tell you, your new PC probably won't run that. That's okay because... <laughs> uh, oh, man, I'm going to show you a lot of cool stuff. But um, I'm going to dive back into that because it is something that I... I haven't played through the full thing since I've beaten it the first time, believe it or not. Everything I've done has been, you know, after the game has ended, you know, side quests and stuff like that. I want to relive that experience again. And so I'm going to be doing that here shortly, maybe to even kick off the new year. Yeah, do uh, with it. A, yeah, with for a, sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of playing through it again. I just I, I talked about it a couple of weeks ago, but I just haven't had the mood. I've been trying to motivate myself to role play, and that's harder. I don't want to say harder, but... It is harder because I not only have to basically perform, I have to play the game. So I'm doing two things at one time. Yeah. And anybody that plays video games with me, they'll tell you that I cannot multitask while I game. Yeah, it's fucking difficult. Um, One thing I think now we're going to check your fucking specs and we're going to figure this out. I think we need to fucking play ready or not finally. I got some cool stuff, man. And I was just like so happy. Yeah, dude, I was sitting there and then... You, you know, just glossed over ready or not. Like, no, no, no. Hold guys, on. if you don't know what ready or not is, Google it or just wait till I stream it. That yeah, fucking no. game is wild. It just came out. The full version just came out. It's been out for like two years, but the full version just came out like last month or something. So, and I wasn't glossing over it. I was just saying like, if, if I can play that with you on that thing, then by all means, why not? I, you should. We'll see. Um, 
so we're since we're on the subject of Red Dead Redemption Two, I went to um, uh, my favorite one of my favorite places to go for lunch this week. I went. I stopped by Bozelli's. I haven't been there in a while. So. I haven't either. It's expensive now. It is. It is. And so I, it was like Wednesday. It was lunchtime, and I was like, you know what? Let me go down to Bozelli's. And I went down there, and the same guy that's always in the counter in the location I go to. I was like, hey, man, how have you been? How was your holiday? He was like, great, great, great. And, you know, I'm waiting for them to prepare my food. So I was just talking to him. And I was like, hey, man, you, you playing anything? Because he looks like, um, you know, somebody that would fit that profile of a, of a gamer. Unfortunately, we all look the same because we don't get out much. Yeah, well, not well, I don't <laughs> think this guy does either. Um, but he's, he's always very, very polite to me. Uh, always great customer service, too. So I was like, hey, man, what are you playing? And he was saying, oh, I play PC. And he was bringing up some games I've honestly never heard of. Um and I can't remember, it was like War something, and it's not Warframe, it was something else. But anyway, I was like, hey, have you... Uh, have like you- a mobile game type thing? No, it's some sort of PC game. I don't know, I'll, uh, I'll have to jumble my brain. But I was like, hey, have you uh, have you played uh, Red Dead Redemption 2? And he's like, oh man, I hated it. And I was just like, whoa, whoa. Actually, no, I have heard, I was weird, that came up on some chat that I was in this week, and some people were like, it was, it was boring, or it was slow in the middle, and this, that, and I'm like... I think you guys just don't appreciate the magnitude of the game. Like. No, they don't. And I was like, so my obviously my initial reaction question was like, hey, why didn't you like it? Because when people say things like that to me, it sounds like, you know, Charlie Brown's teacher. Womp, 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 womp. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was sounding like. He was like, it was, he said, I prefer games that are a little more arcadey in style. He said, the oh. game is too realistic for me. Uh. He was like, with taking care of my character and my stamina and feeding him and eating him to replenish and all that stuff. And I was like, hey, you know, they're just trying to add layers on top of what already has been, you know. Okay, so this is where gaming style comes into play. Yeah, yeah. And so I... Hold on, hold on. on. I'm not done. I never thought you were, Jared. No, I'm not. I'm I'm thinking and talking at the same time. Um, I think that... Yeah, because like when you say you'll tell you play like, oh play this game blah 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 and I'm like nah I don't think I think I like more realistic games like Ready or Not or Red Dead Redemption Two or uh, GTA or and for to some extent Call of Duty I think I'm not gonna lie I think multiplayer kind of killed that for me yeah um just because I like again I like the stories and the the detail put into making it, developing a game. Yeah, no, and you're you're 100 percent right. Call of Duty is one of those. Well, it is one of those modern things that is recycled year in and year out. It's like art for me. Oh, it is art. It's, no, I, I know, I know it is. Trust me, I fucking went to school for this shit. Um, yeah, it's 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 art, and I, I like to appreciate appreciate. Uh, Masterpieces, I guess. Yeah, and that's uh, that's exactly what it is. Like it's Valorant like, is not a masterpiece. That is a fucking thrown together fake ass Fortnite. Yeah, and that, Fortnite is too gamey for me. It's too arcadey. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So he probably liked art. He probably likes um. So that shit. I I ran a couple other games that I've been playing recently. Um, buy him. By, but yeah, yeah, just buy him. And I was like, hey, because what I did uh this past week is I started Alan Wake two. Um, I did see that, uh, which is, uh, so far I'm really enjoying it. Uh, but I said, Hey, have you ever played the original Alan Wake? He said, no, I hated it. And a lot of people did hate it. Um, and that is fine with me. It is not one of those games when it initially released that was supposed to be some massive AAA title. It's just one of those. I think like, it, it was good for what it was, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a cult classic. Yeah, uh, it, it is. And I, I don't, yeah, that, I think that term is. A little overused, but it could be, but it does have a very strong fan base. Uh, no, for, no, I get, yeah, I know. And um, so, with the sequel coming out, uh, which I've played uh, a good maybe three hours into, um, and apparently into a twenty-hour campaign, so I'm very fresh into it. I am very much liking it so far with the noir style of trying to figure out the crimes. And just the the writing in it is so good. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, Remedy. Uh, games who developed the Max Payne series um, or helped publish it is behind this game as well. And there are some hints and throwbacks to Max Payne character um, with a certain character in well, the even, game. Even in, even in one, you could see some kind of... 
hints and throwbacks. And the biggest thing for me is the dialogue. For anybody that knows Max Payne, knows how... I don't think too many people like you got to be straight up gamers to know. This. Yeah, like, no. You got to remember we're this is on Twitch on Monday morning. Like not everybody's a fucking hardcore gamer yeah, oh, like you. I, I know, I know, man. But I, I love Max Payne. I love the series. But the dialogue in Max Payne is so cheesy. It's good. It's like basically like uh, I'm trying to think of an example. It's like I could hear the sirens wailing like a crescendo. Like out my um, window. it's it's the, very. Uh, what was the movie? Uh, Sam Miller. What was that movie that Bruce Willis was in? It was shot like a a comic book. Oh, is it? Is it? Is it? It's not called like Deadly Seven or something like that. No, is it? no, or set. No, it was really, it was shot like a comic book. Um, fuck, was the name of that movie? I mean, if we can do a quick, it was, a, it was based on on a comic book. Is it Sin City? Yes, 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 yes. Sin City. Yeah, that's right. He is. Oh, th- that that's a dope. Those are dope ass movies. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying it's that style of talk. Yeah, so yes, it, exactly. Yeah. And I just, as a a huge fan of Max Payne, can appreciate just those little details that they threw in there for fans of their games. Um, but anyway, he ended up saying, oh, I didn't like the original. And then I was like, well, hey, I, you know, I played Apex, I've played Diablo, I've been, you know, whatever I've been playing the last couple months. Um, and he was like, yeah, this, this, and that. And he was like, you know what I have been playing a lot of? And I was like, oh, what? And then I knew already what he was going to say before he even said it. And he was like, Call of Duty. And I was like, oh. I was like, I was like, well, I've been playing that quite a bit too. And I said, I'm having a blast with the new zombies mode. And I, obviously, for anybody who's been watching my that stream. That proves to you that Call of Duty is more arcade Yeah. They, they tried, what, they, what they did was meld reality with arcade That's why I don't fuck with Warzone. It's too fucking arcade Well, the one of the reasons I don't like Warzone, and I'll play Warzone. I'll enjoy it. It is, Call of Duty is not a BR game to me. It's always going to be just an yeah, arena. You got to say what that is. So uh, a battle royal style video yeah. game where everybody's on the map and everybody has one life and okay. teams, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Call of Duty to me is always been just the arena style arcade military shooter with the, the medium size to big maps and the smaller maps like Shipment and Rust. If you guys saw my stream, you saw me getting my ass kicked some games and hardcore Shipment. Um, but that's what Call of Duty to me is at, at its core. And then I was like, so do you, I said, have you been playing zombies? He said, no, I hate it. So this guy apparently needs to get laid, uh, which, oh. which, which I'm starting to think. Uh, uh, yeah, but uh, I said, so what are you playing? He was like, oh, I like, uh, you know, wars. So he does like the BR mode in it. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, hey, man, you know, I don't mind playing it. I said, but for me, uh, Call of Duty at the core is going to be the, the original multiplayer. And I, even though I'm not a diehard zombies fan and I've been having a blast with this version of it, um, that's, that's, that's what COD is to me. And it doesn't really go further than that. Yeah, it's done. Um, it's done for me. Um, so, and, uh, just in the cool thing about the new zombies mode is the community is really friendly and I've been helping people the last couple of days of just written, Hey, can you help me out? It's like, Hey, I know what to do. And I've just been having a lot of fun with it. So, um, going to continue that, but definitely going to be playing a lot of Alan Wake too here in the next couple of days. Uh, it's really, really fun. Uh, so check out the stream forever dope. At twitchtv.com. I thought it was forever underscore dope. Forever underscore dope. Twitchtv.com. And doesn't even know his own fucking Twitch name. I don't know who I am sometimes, Jared. I don't know why I, I look into the mirror. And anyway, let me let me stop. Let me stop. <clears throat> compose myself a little bit. Composed. C- compose, compose, composed. Um, I didn't really come. I was doing a lot of technical shit this week, trying to come up with more technical things, so I didn't really have any too many subjects to talk about. That's okay. No, I'm no. I'm sure you probably did a little more research than yeah, I Yeah, well, there was... A, I know a lot of people died this week. There, Yes, unfortunately, there's a few people that died today. Uh, I know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, And that is just uh, life being life, and it stinks. And uh, I was... Re- before one of, one of our shows, I was not this show, one of the comedy shows, I was... Talking about that with a couple of the other comics, I like uh, I forgot who died, but it was like, bro, we're at the fucking age where motherfuckers are gonna start to go, uh, and I'm a little higher in age than you, and I'm starting to see it. I'm like, yo, these are people that I fucking grew up watching, type shit, and yeah. it's like it did. It just makes you think about your own like mortality, mortality. Yeah, and it's okay. like fuck, man, I ain't got that. 
And you know what fucked me up one time? I was watching something probably on fucking TikTok or Instagram. And um, there you go. Forever underscore dope. Yeah. Thank you, guys. I appreciate uh, you knowing my my stream when I don't. Better better than him. Uh, speaking of that. Uh, all right. I got two things. I got to remind me to get back to. Of course. That. Um, yeah. So your own mortality and. Oh, yeah. Something that I saw that fucked me up one time. Uh, recently and it was like depending on your age think about what what your favorite season is and think about how many more of those you have left like you only get one season a year say you live on the east coast or in america i i don't know other places how the weather is but we get all four seasons here especially on the east coast on the east coast well that's why i said east coast okay all right sorry um so you, you got four seasons, and you pick your favorite season. My favorite season, it's, it's a toss-up between spring and summer. I, I like them for different reasons. But anyway, if I pick spring, for instance, how many springs do I have left in my life? Then you count. Say you have, at my age, 20 years left. You got 20 fucking summers left or springs left in your fucking life. Yeah, when you put it Some like that, yeah, shit. yeah, it's wild when you kind of, uh, what is it? Put the blueprint on your put fucking the carpet. numbers on it. Yeah, put 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 the blueprint down on your carpet like you're about to rob a bank, and you know, just do the whole. Um, I don't uh, know what that analogy is, but okay. Uh, I I heard it in a Nas song once, and uh, uh, yeah, but barely anybody that listens to us knows who Nas is. I, I, I'm a big Nas fan, uh, but what I was gonna <laughs> say is, um, no, but. You're right, and I kind of said it at after the show last week, and thank you guys for joining us last week for the you know annual holiday special. Um, it, uh, recently, and I'll just briefly, briefly touch on this, uh, a, a, a f- close family uh, friend, unfortunately, had some tragic accident happen, and they're no longer you know with us. Um, and this obviously is happening right around the holidays, and, you know, it's just, it's hard for everybody to some degree. And to Jared's credit, you know, we are getting older, we are getting to that age. I'm sure you've heard somebody uh, say at one point when it's like, hey, we need to start looking for an adult in the room. And you are the adult in the room. It's like, hey, Wait, we're, what, what? put it this way. <laughs> I am not the adult in the room. Well, well, well yeah, I'm just using it loosely as a, as a just a, If I need to take control, fine. I don't want to say take control. But if, if a situation is going down, yes, I will step up. But I am not the adult in the room. I'm sorry. Well, it, put it this way. It's like if you're around a group of uh, younger people. Um, and when I say Still younger people, yeah, yeah. And th- I would say, you know, the teenagers to the early 20s. And then you're like, man. And you look at them and it's like, man, you motherfuckers need role models. And then you think about it. And it's like, oh, man, you're old enough to be that role model. Well, the, the thing um, is, a lot of, and I find myself guilty of it, um, and I think, again, this is an American thing. We don't really value elders like we should or like we have in the past. Um, no, I, uh, I 100% agree with that. People don't respect people of older age. Um, and I, I remember I had a buddy, one of my best friends when I was in California. He He used to be like, just because I'm or you're older than me. Now, he wasn't telling this to me personally. He was just saying, in general, I think it was on a social media post, just because you're older than me doesn't make you wiser than me, which I agree with. But at the same time, if you're if, if someone's twice your age, I think they're probably wiser than you. I they, would like to 100%. And- they've been through more shit than you. You might be smarter than them, but common sense-wise, they know better. Yeah, yeah. You know Wisdom, well, there, there's... There, there is a lot of uh, wisdom and, and value that comes with age and experience and all that. And I'll be the first person to say, as a younger person, um, you know, I've always, for the most part, been very, very well behaved. But when I was in my youth, I was a bit of a troublemaker. Uh, I was kind of rebellious, like most teenage guys yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. Kid is, yeah. And I remember when I would get in trouble or my mom, my mom always used to tell me, RJ, you know, especially if she was, you know, pissed at me or done yelling at me, she was like, you know what? You're the cause of your own problems. You know, everything that's happening in your life, for the most part. That's true. And, you know, I used to be like, ah, you know, put it this way. 
the older I get, the more I realize my mom was right about, I would say, 95% of the things that I was just kind of adamant, like, nah, I don't care about that. Or, nah, that's not that important. Or, nah, you know, whatever yeah, yeah, the case yeah. may be. I, I don't want to get into a deep philosophical. No, no, no. We no, did I, that last week, and uh, I don't know. I just want to keep it lighthearted for the new year. Yeah, yeah. Are uh, you guys swinging from a chandelier tomorrow night? If you are, take a photo. No. Uh, oh, I got to ask you off air um, if you're going to do something tomorrow because I need to kind of know. Yeah, uh, yeah. We'll figure, we'll figure it out. Uh, I want to let Londa know. Not Londa, sorry. Um, Epic. Uh, this week I gave you moderate moderator powers. Oh, congratulations. So not that we really need it at this point because <laughs> everybody, y'all, y'all are cool for the most part. Um, but. Um, when we get bigger or whatever, you have, you have, uh, you have access to boot people if you need, need to. We're rich and fucking famous, bruh. Um, let's see. I'll take a pic and DM the Chandler photo to you. What? Oh, what? What Chandler? What what do you mean? It's probably a a very disrespectful meme. Is it, is it about Matthew Perry's the fucking drowning? Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, yeah, that's what happened, unfortunately. Oh, the tox, oh, uh, the tox, toxicology reports came back and I um, forgot what it said he was on. So there was obviously some was something in the, the system. Yeah, and, they, and the, the article, it wasn't totally clear that that's what he died from. He probably fell asleep, which a lot of celebrities do. They fucking... Like Whitney Houston got high and fucking fell asleep in the fucking bathtub and fucking drowned. I, uh, I think Elvis died in a similar manner too. I think he was on the toilet though. Wasn't yeah, he? but I mean, dying but, on the toilet—that's not the same thing. I'm talking. Get, get get. Let me finish my thought All before right. you interject yours. Um. So then, so then, same thing with Matthew Perry. I, I don't know if it was ketamine or some other drug, but anyway. He ended up drowning because he fell asleep in the thing. And I I don't know. If I have that much money, I think I'm going to just, and I'm going to know I'm going to do drugs. I'm just going to stay away from the hot tub. Like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't think I would put myself in any, and nobody does it, obviously is doing this intentionally, but I don't want to put myself in, yeah, ketamine. you know, quote unquote harm's way if I am under the influence of something. And I know I've probably, Done that a billion times before, but obviously with age and experience comes wisdom. Uh, not necessarily, because it still ends up killing people. Oh, it does. It does. No, 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 no. And and I agree. Sorry, I'm not trying to like trip this cord up while I'm moving my feet. Um, but it just, I don't know, man. I remember when I was a kid. You know those rumble strips they have on the side of the road for when you fall asleep. Um, I didn't know what they were. Um, obviously being younger. And what my dad used to do when, obviously, there's no cars around on the highway, he would just, you know, mess with me, even go over and, you know, hear yeah. a little rumble. And I'm like, hey, what is that for, Dad? He's like, yeah. He said, in case somebody, unfortunately, falls asleep behind the steering wheel, it's, you know, supposed to wake them up. And and, and I'll tell you this, those weren't always around my entire life. No, and, and I, <laughs> I and that was put there because of unfortunate accidents happening and people falling asleep behind the wheel whether it's due to exhaustion, due to some level of intoxication, uh, or whatever the case may be. And it just... Um, Holy shit. What is that? Fucking epic with the 25 gifted it's subs. 25 gifted subs. What a way to bring well, in the new year. That's dude. what he said. Yeah, He's yeah, like, no. bringing in the new year. Uh, Jesus what, uh, Christ. Yeah, that, dude, thank you, man. Yeah, dude. dude. He is too generous to us. Yeah, dude. We're going to have to, like, really buy you something, or we're going to have to sacrifice ourselves. Or I'll do it. Jared can... Do the whole stabbing of my body if he has to, um, you know. I'll, I'll allow you to do that. No, I want to get. You know what? I want to give Londa a job. If you can find somebody that can do like for free, obviously. <laughs> yeah. We don't like to pay people around here. I don't know. We, maybe, <laughs> we, maybe we can figure something out. But we need badges for like subscribers, and we need emotes. So any of y'all, to be honest, anybody in the chat, if you can like maybe find somebody who knows how to do that or whatever. Or, or at least suggestions on what kind of emotes you want um, or what kind of badges you want to be a subscriber, um, then, yeah, let us know. Because, like, like Epic said at the beginning, he was like, finally he got to six months. 
And usually when you go from zero to six months, there you get an upgrade on your badge um, as a subscriber. Um, and then I think it's six months to a year, and then a year to two months, and blah, 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 on, on and so forth. So I think we need to start um, kind of upgrading that whole entire and, thing. And I think, and I, I hate to sound so cliche, man, and I know you're going to hate me, and I, I hate me for saying it, but it's new year, new us, all right? You know. Yeah, definitely uh, cliche. Yeah, very cliche, very gay um, in no, um, you know, derogatory way whatsoever. Um, Except but, it was. <laughs> it was. Um, <laughs> and um, anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, no, but I think this year, 2024, is, is, is a big year for the show. I think it's a big year for me and you just on a personal level. And Speaking I, of that... I, what I, I don't know if I told you earlier. What I told you, did I tell you on air or did I tell you off air? You may have told me off air. Well, you might have been trying to tell me. You told me, but we were probably having def, def, uh, the Oh, the oh yeah, 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 yeah. So get your money right, motherfucker. Um, get that shit as soon as possible. Uh, it's, only a few, it's only a few days, to be honest. You wouldn't even have to take that much time off of work. It's Sunday to Wednesday. And I'm just going because I, those are the open mic nights at particular spots that I want to hit. And Kill Tony's also on Mondays. That's when they record. So at least sign up. If you want to stick into the... Do you know what would be funny? If you came with me, yeah. <laughs> you signed up because you wanted to be in the room with me. Dude, uh, dude. I, if anything, <laughs> I I would probably garner us more attention than you'd probably ever imagine, dude. Oh, no. You, for sure. You, if you got called up there and I didn't, I'd be so fucking pissed. No. And uh, what I was going to say is, is I don't mind being... Put it this way. When you're, we were talking about our, um, God forbid, our, our mortality not too long ago. Jared, and God forbid the event that I go before you do, I want you at my funeral to dress in all black, wear a hat, and stand at least 100 feet away behind a tree and watch from a distance because I want somebody to think I lived another life. And they're going to, everybody's going to know it's you. But Wait, what? Yes, yes. Because I want people to think like, that oh, sounds weird. And it sounds. <laughs> Well, we're going to need somebody to do it because if they know it's you, it's not going to work. <laughs> what the fuck? If anybody wants to volunteer out we there. We will hire a paid uh, actor. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> um, like, you who, know. Who's that? Uh, that's, yeah. oh, that hey, and I'll tell everybody, that's RJ's gay lover. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> and you know what? If it'll lighten the mood because I know funerals are not fun. <laughs> no, I'm it won't uh, lighten the mood. Motherfuckers be like, what? Yeah. I thought I knew him. Um, yeah, no, yeah. Don't, uh, don't make it bad. It's probably already going to be a... We will pay you to stand behind a tree 100 yards away from the service and the <laughs> make fuck? people wonder if we lived a double life, all right? No, no, don't say we. No, no, no. This is your life. I life. am going to do that for you, Jared. This is your life and your life alone. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just saying. I saw, it, I saw it on the internet, and it sounded like a good idea. I'm just saying. Oh, this uh, is fucking... This this is not gonna work. <laughs> this camera, so no, not I, it works as a webcam. It doesn't work switching back and forth between cameras. Because well, I I know they can see the fucking bloop bloop. Yeah, the little bit of lag and delay in yeah. it. Yeah, it's uh it's a work in progress, folks. We'll definitely uh. It's a good idea to try it out though. Um, we'll definitely. I mean, the quality is great because it's an iPhone, but it is. And speaking of iPhone, so do you know what I had to do? Do you know what I had to do this week? And I was so mad that but I you got to lean do your big ass head into the fucking. Dude, no, no, in. <laughs> Dude, my cranium is massive. Um, there you go. There you go. Oh fuck, it's out of the camera. can't even see you. Damn see, it. And I hate when you don't slam that fucking thing. Well, I, that's the whole emphasis of, yeah, you know. But it but, fucks up the cameras. It fucks up the sound. Like uh, I, My apologies. So you know what I had to do the other day? What's that? I've had the same phone case and same screensaver oh uh, and protector for some years now. Of all the worst things, he could have switched the subject to. Uh, you said phone, and light bulb went off in my head. My, my giant head that I can't fit into the camera. Um, I've been trying to salvage my case, my screen protector. It's old and worn. And I just could not keep my phone in my otter box anymore because the some of the plastic was broken. It's from various reasons and falls and all sorts of stuff. So I go over to... The Verizon store uh, before I go to work this week. And I was, I walk in there and I'm like, man, I'm probably about to spend like $80 on this shit, right? Mm -hmm. So I go in there and, and you know, you got uh, the guys in there. Hey, buddy, how are you today? Um, and I'm like, hey, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, 
<laughs> go ahead. Keep yeah. going. And uh, anyway, um, and this is uh, not to be derogatory in any manner before I start. <laughs> uh, I was like, hey, man, I need, a, I need a new phone case. He said, my friend, I have one for you. And I was like, there we go. There we go. So he said, what kind of phone do you have? And I, so I pulled my phone out of my pocket, my bare phone. It, it doesn't have the case on it anymore or anything. It's got the nasty screen protector I got on it. I said, I got this, uh, this iPhone 12. Exactly. And they, is, it, uh, is it coming off pretty bad? Uh, <laughs> Your presumption is correct. <laughs> and he said, uh, hey, buddy. Um, he said, I do not have the 12, but I have the Yo, 13. stop. <laughs> so he had the... Um, <laughs> Please don't cancel us. I swear. <laughs> no, I love, uh, I it's love not it. us, motherfucker. You keep including me in your fucking wild ass shit. It's you. Your face is the logo. Anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, buddy. Uh, <laughs> that should be the name of the episode, dude. Hey, buddy. Oh, God. Uh, you... Anyway. Um, he, he has a case um, that's for the model that's just uh, a generation higher than mine. And... He said, hey, you know, it fits. He, he takes it out, he puts it on, and I was like, you know what? I was like, all right, I'll get it. And he said, hey, man, do you want a new screen protector? Because he, he saw it. And um, <laughs> me and Londa are, like, both cracking up on that. Dude. Um, and I was like, you know what, man? I was like, fuck it. I was like, how much is the case? And it's an otter box, so I already knew it was going to be. He was like, hey, it's uh, forty nine ninety five, man. And I was like, all right, man. I was like, fuck it. I need, I need it. I, you know, I need it. And you fucking went to a Verizon store to get a fucking case. That's crazy. It's okay. It's across the street. For, I'm sorry, man. I did it out of convenience. I really did. It's you not could have ordered that from Amazon for twelve dollars. Lesson learned. Anyway, um, so I was like, let me get a uh, you know screen protector. He's like, my friend, I give you the best one. <laughs> Stop. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, so he he proceeds to go get a screen protector, and he says, this is the very best one. You know, of all, of all time, you know, trying to upsell me on it. I was like, all right, dude, I'll buy it. And I was like, hey, how much is his screen protector? He was like, oh, this? He said, it's fifty nine ninety five. And I was like, so you're telling me this screen protector is $10 more than the case? And he said, yeah. And he opens the box, right? And it's got all these little alcohol wipes in it, microfiber pads and all that. And I was like, oh, that's what I'm paying for. And then as this man is well, cleaning. Well, you need those. Kind yeah, of. yeah, well, which is fine. I understand it, but that's how they get you. He, so he's nice enough, obviously, well, he's doing his job, but he cleans my phone off, puts a new protector on, new case. Look, my phone really looks brand new. Looks great. Um, after I spend $105 plus tax. What the my, fuck uh, is wrong with you? Yeah, after I spend $105, right? Bruh. On these two items. And don't worry. That's what we need. Bruh. Bruh. Yeah, so. Um, Motherfucker. He was like, hey, do you have a charger? <laughs> and I was like, dude, I said. Oh, no. See, I, I you know what? I saw, I know what's happening. Because I used to do that. Hold up. Oh, before, yeah. you, before, you try before you try to, to get into my brain, no, Jared. No, before you try to defend yourself. I used to sell cell phones and accessories and all that shit. He didn't even do no work. Oh, I know. You know how much he probably got paid off of that shit? It, it, which is fine with me. I need He, he probably things. made, I'm going to be generous. I say 30% off, just off of selling those accessories. Because all he did was ask you. And you were like, you know what? I do oh, he, need he, he, this. He didn't sell me a charger. I, I literally went in there for a case. And You're I was about up, to get one, though. Dude, I have a supercharger, bro. Like, my, char my phone charges in like 20 minutes. Like it's okay, that's fine, but you still fucking I, paid one hundred and five dollars for a fucking case. <laughs> you could have got it for twelve dollars. That case that I use on that—that's the same case, not the same exact case. But when I upgraded, I went to the same company on Amazon, and because the old phone never broke, the only issue I had was the, ironically, the screen, the glass screen protector that's on the front. That's cracked. Yeah. And then I lost the fucking second one when I moved, so I don't even... Now I got to go buy a fucking second one if I want to fucking... But it doesn't affect anything, so it's like, fuck it. Yeah, no, no. But no. that fucking... The only reason I would replace that case is because it, it's dented up from dropping it or whatever. Yeah, no, and in the quality of my... And I know you guys can roast me for the dollar amount I paid, which is fine. Oh, I already, oh you're it, roasted, because yeah. actually we did the math, me and Epic, <laughs> just in this very moment... Because not nine ninety nine. Well, well, if you got Prime, there's no shipping, and you could have got it the same day. So you could have got uh, ten bucks. You could have got a fucking case. 
All right. Well, or even a fucking glass protector. Twenty bucks at max. All right. Well, let's That's learn. Crazy. Yeah. No. And I already knew what it was. So, but I, you knew you wanted to go in and spend one hundred five dollars. I just kind of figured it. It was just kind of. I just needed it at that moment. I needed a case, dude. I could. I. I didn't have it for a couple of days. My phone with the glossy, you know, material the phone Damn. is made out of. I was just like, fuck it. I'm a, you know. With my, the, the little bit of holiday bonus money I have left from work, I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. The little bit of holiday bonus money you have left when you could have just went on Amazon. Well, it, it's fine. I mean, it is what it is, but that's what I did. Um, it, but my phone looks great. Um, and the it looks like a phone with a case on it, guys. It, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it, it, it's completely fine. Um, but that was what I wanted to share with you, that I went out and I went to uh, spend $105 on uh, a case and a screen protector for the love of God. So how did how did he tell you to leave the, the building? Like when you left, what did he say? He said, uh, well, I was trying to be, you know, personable, you know, me, you know, talking to everybody the way I do. Mm-hmm. And I was just making conversation. And then his friend comes out of God only knows where uh, the back, I guess. Um, and he said, Hey man, where are the hot girls? And I was just like, Oh, I was like, well, that is kind of a weird thing to say to somebody you don't know. Mm. Um, and he just told me, and I was just joking with the guys. I was like, oh, yeah. I said, with my brand new phone, I can get all the numbers. I was just talking really. If You would have laughed at me if you would have seen me. I mean, not that you don't do already. Um, but anyway, I just wish them a happy holiday and a happy new year. And yeah. that's how that, that's all I left. What did they say, though? <laughs> they said, thank you. Come again. <laughs> that's exactly what they said. <laughs> Anyway, uh, uh, that's a little inside joke for me in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, there, hey, there you go, Alanda. Uh, the views of RJ are not the views of Jared here on the <laughs> Mad Scientist Live podcast. Just want to make everybody aware of that before, you know, God, I wake up tomorrow morning. And, Yo, I'm clipping the fuck out of that one. Uh, and I got to make sure I get the chat in there. Oh, my God. Um, but uh, I left, went to work, went about my, my, my work week and all this other stuff. And one of the responsibilities I've had the last two weeks at work, I've actually been training somebody, like somebody who's literally been shadowing me. And I'm doing a ba- I'm doing a bang up job. I'm doing a great job training somebody. Very proud of myself. I still got it. Still got those training skills and capabilities, those leadership skills, as they like to say. Jared, what are you talking about? Oh, I'm just saying I I'm just doing a good job training somebody. It's the first time I've trained somebody in a long time. That's okay. like yeah yeah. No, I'm I'm just. Pretty happy about that. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, man. So what did you watch for Christmas, Jared? Did, I didn't did watch you... any of the bullshit. You... Oh, no, I did watch Trading Places. Can't get that shit out of me. I, uh, I watched football, and then I actually ended up watching uh, The Batman again. Yeah, you told me. Uh, before the show. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, um, the new uh, Robert Patterson, the Batman movie that came out. Uh, uh, Pattinson? Pattinson, yeah, you're, you're right. Um, that came out. Was it earlier in the year or was it last year? I think it was last year. Yeah. Um, it's on shit, Netflix. Shit, it might be two years ago at this point. Um, it's on Netflix. I highly encourage everybody to check it out. Really, really good. Um, I really like the, you know, noir style. So 2020, so it's a year, so a year yeah. ago. So it's a, a little over a year, year old. Um, and now that I think about it, I still can't believe Colin Farrell is the penguin in that movie. He just doesn't look like him, does a phenomenal job. Well, for me, that kind of reminded me of uh, when Tom Cruise played that guy in uh, Tropic Thunder. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, no. I, like, And I'll be 100% honest. The first time I saw Tropic Thunder, which is one of the greatest comedies, movies of all time, which you probably couldn't make these days. Um, no, you can't. Which a lot of comedy movies you can't make these days. Um, but I didn't know it was Tom Cruise at first. And you know how big of a Tom Cruise fan I am. Like I was when I watched that movie, I didn't recognize it. I would I would not have thought that Tom Cruise would have even been in that movie. Yeah, and that's one of those very. Uh, and certain movies have done it over time, uh, where you get one major cameo from a big star that's not advertised for the movie in any capacity at all, and it's like, oh shit! It's like what is what was that? It's like uh, Interstellar when they find Matt Damon on Mars when Matt it, it, Oh yeah that was a surprise. Yeah, but, but Anne Hathaway there was a bunch of people in that movie. Yeah, yeah, there there was, but when I first saw Matt Damon, By I was the just way, like, oh. "Can I say I need to say this? Anne Hathaway is one of the most slept on 
beautiful women in the world. That's she's what I want to say about that. That's all I have to say. She's very beautiful. She's very talented. And she seems like just a very wholesome person. Character means a lot as you get older. You know, anybody can have a pretty smile and a nice body, but character counts a lot. Yeah. It does. It does. And uh, we might yeah, have there was always... a lot of big names in that movie. Interstellar was a pretty big budget. Fucking, um, actually, he just retired from acting. Um, I can't remember. Is he Michael Caine? Yes, Michael Caine. Uh, who is um, a phenomenal actor. Yep. We, ha- we are so lucky to, and uh, kind of going back to what you were talking about, seeing the people you grew yeah. up watching pass We've away. We've seen a lot of the greatest, I think, actors of all time. We, yeah, we, I, I think, I don't know. Maybe because it's, uh, it's not that new. Uh, it's still kind of new. It's not as new as like stand up comedy. But the film industry, I don't know. We got to be at least 100 years in. Yeah, no. So, no, that you just I honestly took the words out of my mouth. If you think about all the things that have changed in the last 100 years, or maybe just a tad more than that, a lot has happened. And is, it, ironically enough, man, we have been around for a, a, a good little chunk of portion of that. And yeah. we, we've seen the rise of the internet, uh, the, the way everything changes in terms of entertainment and the way people consume information. Oh, yeah, entertainment and, is changing very rapidly right now. Um, I mean, we... As they, a content creator, here's what I, what I recently have kind of been seeing a lot of people... Because I try to look forward to, like... I try to look at stuff to see what the next thing is coming. Like, you can't ever totally predict stuff. But a lot of people are, that I'm looking at are saying, like, actual content creation is, like, the next wave of entertainment. Because if you think about it, all the big studios are producing bullshit, nothing original. Um, Like we were talking about last week, fucking, we're off of Disney at this point. Marvel is kind of ass. I, I'll check out uh, Echo when it comes out. Yeah. Um. And, oh, I did want to talk about this, if we get a chance. I don't think you even watched it, but uh, What If has been, they've released one every day for the last week or so. I didn't know the new season was out, so. Yeah, it's out. Okay. Um, first couple episodes, I was like, eh. Uh, but the last, uh, it's all the way up to eight at this point. Um, but they've been good. Um, now, I don't know if it's just because it's animated or because there's still some of the, original voices that come back. Not all the original voices are back of every character, but the ones that you would like, you'd be like, oh shit, they actually came back. Like that's some of those are wild. Like Elizabeth Olsen, everybody, I thought she was done with the whole fucking thing. Again, another one of my favorites. She is also insanely beautiful. Yeah. Um, do you know what I was going to kind of dabble in? Yeah, exactly. Um, Lana, everybody's getting tired of the superhero shit. You know what I was going to dabble in just a little bit, and I'm going to butcher the name of this, but I know that Zack Snyder, what is it, Moon Rebels? That's, uh, <laughs> Rebel Moon. Rebel man. Moon, okay. You can't dabble in it. You can't dabble in a movie. Well, well, uh, well uh, hold on. I've watched it already. Okay. What did what did you think about it? I don't want to give you my opinion when you haven't even looked at it yet. Okay. That, I think that, obviously, that's fair. Um, There's, well... Hmm. I don't know. Some people may have already seen it. I I liked it. Uh, I, I will say this. This is just part one. Part two, they already put the trailer out, uh, which comes out in, I think it's, they said April. So I'm looking, let's put it this way. I'm looking forward to part two. Okay. That's uh, that's good enough for me because when I originally saw, and I, I, and I didn't really read a review in full, I just kind of. And skimmed. I will say this, and I was talking, not to me, I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah, you're good, dude. I was talking to this. To somebody, not last night, uh, maybe the night before, they were talking about Zack Snyder and how he's this great director. I was like, all right, he's good. I'm not fully sold on Zack Snyder, to be honest. No, neither am I. And that's, uh, and I actually think that's kind of the core of the my what I, why I brought it up is because I feel a lot of his movies that he does is either going to go over well with people. I feel people are always divided with his movies. There's never... 
uh, oh, hey, this is amazing, or oh, hey, this is just completely garbage. I feel like his movies are always heavily divided. And I don't know if that's due to his style of directing, which I would attribute that to, probably, and his uh, method of storytelling. Um, but what I did see briefly about uh, the this new movie that he put out was that uh, that they were trying to make it very Star Warsy and all this other stuff. And, uh, um, and okay, and that's kind of what made me think. I was like, I wonder what Jared would think about. Okay, this. so uh, I, again, I don't want to give you any. Yeah, you already been reading comments. So very briefly, it what was very I brief. what I will say without giving anything away, there were moments where I was like, uh, I'm getting Star Wars vibes. Um. But then there was moments where I was like, um, I'm getting, I don't know, maybe Terminator 2 vibes. Hey, those are good vibes to have. I'll tell you that much. And then there will be moments where I'm like, all right, now I'm getting Stargate vibes. Um, and also very good vibes like, to have. Not Stargate, the movie, the original movie. The, yeah. the, the series. The series. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there was times where I was like, okay, this is just straight up fucking Nazi Germany type shit. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's definitely a mixture of a lot of different things. It's not a copy of star Wars. It's not a copy of anything that I just mentioned, but you see the influences of all that, which at this point you, you're going to get influences, uh, a space war type thing. You're going to get, because that's what star Wars is. It's about wars in space, space and wars, star Wars. If you get a futuristic thing where there's fucking wars in space, then that's what you're going to get. And to your credit, Jared, I think we're at a point in time to where enough time has passed from a lot of these original releases of some of the things that you said for modern day directors to, I wouldn't say necessarily pay homage to, uh, which they might be doing. I, w- I want to get, uh, keep going, but yeah. I, I want to, these guys to, are having a good, interesting chat in the, in the, but, you want to pull it up. Yeah, but uh, but just having, yeah, like you said, the little influences of, because I'm going to tell you, if I made it, if me and you made a movie right now, all my favorite movies I would want to Okay, think so of, you yeah. need to read chat. All right. So here all right, so, because this, this sparked the idea in my head. Um, all right, let's pull the chat up here. I'm here, guys. Uh, actually, I could probably Maybe just scroll through had, this. Remember to do this. I want to, because I, I, you guys had some good points in the chat, and I kind of want to. Bring those up. I need to copy this so I can put it over to the wide angle one. Ooh, the Shawshank. Ooh, always a. I'm just sick of the films that have to. Yeah, so he's talking about the far woke. Um, hold on. And Epic is not uh, too far off from the bill with that because that is something that me and Jared were talking about last week, uh, especially when it was revolving around you know the whole Disney and. Just their whole kind of business motto for the last several years, um, and how they develop their uh, their TV series or their movies. Um, you know, oh, I don't be- think I can move the chat over there. Okay, um, RJ, you're just gonna have to excuse the shit on your face. Oh yeah. Uh, so oh yeah, God. so Londa was like, so Londa was saying, um, people are tired of the superhero movies. Then Epic was saying. They need to do a, a true friendship film, not something that turns into a love story that just two friends going, doing something epic. Um, I agree with that. And that sparked a, a, a something in my head where I was thinking, maybe we should sit down and fucking, like literally sit down and write a fucking script. Maybe, maybe, or, or at least uh, at least a story. Where it's like a buddy thing, comedy, yeah, just for us, and we probably won't get picked up by anybody, but maybe we can figure out how to film it on our own, and and you know what I'm saying, dude. You know what's fucking crazy is that I was watching, rewatching, I should say, earlier in the week, uh, I was watching or rewatching, excuse me, uh, True Detective season three. Which, uh, the new season is coming out with Jodie Foster, by the way. I am fucking stoked, bro. But back to your... Wait, uh, what does this have to do with what we're talking about? Because of the uh, the buddy cop dynamic that Hayes has with... Uh, what's his face? Uh, I don't know their names, but... yeah. Um, but I was sitting there, and it's, you know, it's, uh, you know, the older white guy and the older black guy, and they're... 
they're cops and their buddies, and they've been chasing the same case for like thirty years. Yeah, but and, I want to I want to write some original shit. No, 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 no. I know, but I was like, dude, I was like, me and Jared basically do this on a weekly basis. Oh well, then fucking we're on the same page. All, yeah, yeah. all of us are on the same page. We yeah. want so we need to fucking sit down and like like legitimately sit down and write like you know, yeah, all right. So or at least brainstorm, and then we'll start. Maybe you write something on your own. I have a computer been, now to do that. Yeah, and then I'll write some, something on my own. Then we come together and fucking figure it out. And then we'll either figure out how to shop it. Once the final product is done, we'll either figure out how to shop it or we'll figure out um, how to do it ourselves. But I think that's actually not a fucking bad idea, Epic. The the Mad Scientist Lab is going Hollywood, baby. Hey, hey, Mad Scientist Media. Mm-hmm. Still yeah, coming, like, still coming. Wait, Hollywood, fuck Hollywood. Yeah, we that, don't. That's be. the problem. That's that's what we're talking about. Hollywood is the problem. Yeah, dude, fuck Hollywood, burn it down. All um, right. as I like to say up north. Damn. So, so he was saying maybe another Harold and Kumar type movie. Yeah, but again, that's, that's <laughs> I get it. No, I get it. I, I I wouldn't mind that vibe, but we got we're we're still trying to think of something along the uh, of re- original. And actually, now we're talking about it and. I got. I'm brainstorming. I don't want to give anything away yet. Uh, Shawshank Redemption would be nice. Uh, we're not doing Shawshank. Shawshank. I, I, dude. If put it this way, if I had to be Tom Hanks and Jared had to be Michael Clark Duncan, um, that's Green Mile. It is a Green Mile. Holy shit! Jesus I'm talking about Christ. Morgan Freeman and Tom, Tim Robbins. Which, I'm so sorry. Which hot take? Movie sucked. I'll just keep moving. Uh, yeah, um, please. So let's see. Oh, he hasn't seen in a long time. Harry Potter is literally Star Wars. I don't know if I totally agree with that. Um, <laughs> I don't. I'm not a Harry Potter fan, so don't don't think I'm defending it. But no. I don't. I don't think they're the same. I will defend the witches and wizards of. Hogwarts. Oh, I know what you're saying. You're talking about that. There's a comedian who did a breakdown of it. Yeah, yeah. From that point of view, in that angle, yes. Uh, what the fuck? Where, where were we at? Uh, Forever Dope says he likes donuts. Why would you put that in there? I'm just saying something that a couple buddies on an adventure that doesn't turn into a, a broke back mountain. Um, okay. So this goes back to the far woke comment that I, I think I missed. Um, I agree, but that's why, again, you have to cut Hollywood out of the, the, the entire situation. Indoctrin- indoctrination it, is going on. Well, I mean, I guess that, that could be the word. Um, but that's not. I would probably equate it more to propaganda. Yeah, yeah. I just like indoctrination. Every, it's, or, or just uh, corporations just trying to appeal to everybody, so they look like again they're part of the woke. But then, so, so that that's that's that's. And I forgot to write the shit down, but that's what my kind of definition. is. So you have the woke. The woke originally started from. Before BLM got to this big thing it was, it was like black people being aware of the hardships and the shit that goes on in America. So I was like, oh, he's woke. Like, oh, I know about Christopher Columbus actually coming here and fucking Native Americans up. Yeah. But th- this is what, years ago. Like, I- I'm not even talking about the last... Five years. This is probably 10, maybe 15 years ago. So that's when the woke term started coming up. Not exactly when, but that's part of it. But then it got to this whole really super far left thing. So, And to be fair to everybody who, whatever you might be, I don't give a fuck if you're a Republican, a Democrat, conservative, liberal. You have it two extremes on both or or any, any end. So you have the far left, which is the far liberal people. And then you have the far right, Mm -hmm. which is the extreme conservatives, which both sides can be, have been proven to be very dangerous. Of course. Then you have the people who think they know better than everybody else. Oh yeah. I know those people. And those are the extreme of, of the extreme, not left, not right. And I wouldn't even say moderate, but they're like in their own category. That's what I call the far woke. 
Yeah, they have some. They're sort more of... lit. They're more left leaning. They're like, but in that top. If you looked at it at a square on a grid, they're like in that top fucking corner. If we're doing fucking, you're not on camera. Um, think about it as a grid, like like when you're in math class where you have um, uh, what's it called, uh, linear equations. Yeah. So you have zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, zero, one, two, three, four, five. That then same thing up and down. Yeah. On each axis. Mm-hmm. Now, if you go, what is that? That would be, that'd be right. So I want to go negative 10. Let's say everything is 10, zero to 10. Be negative 10 to whatever a fucking some plot is <laughs> off the chart. Yeah. Toward the top. That's far woke. And it's, um, it's kind of nuts, man, because there was, Obviously, recently in the last couple of years, the huge emphasis on yes, uh, Londa uh, gets it. Woke, <laughs> no, no, far woke is negative digit, negative digit. Yes, hundred. Well, yeah, I guess they could be. Well, it could be positive down to. Uh, yeah, you're you're right, but that yes, 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 yes. It just it's um, it just thinks because I think we as a, a general public can we're seeing it happen we're watching it like literally in, unfold in real time in front of us it's like we're watching a a tv show one day so my uh one of my coworkers, uh she's awesome she's a mother she's got a uh i think a two-year-old uh two or three-year-old yeah everybody gets it in here and we uh, the conversation came up uh somehow at work about what kids consume nowadays in terms of television and what they're taught in the classroom. Right. Um, and she said, Hey, you know, I'm but they're not necessarily on television at this point. They're on their iPad. So they're only getting what they get off of their iPad. Yeah. Well, iPad would just, what, what, however, a young person consumes a uh, media now, whether it's an iPad, TV, iPhone, whatever. Um, she was basically saying, Hey, there's a show that I let them watch. And, you know, I watch it with him, and she says, the reason I watch some of this these kids' shows with him is because there's little subtle hits in there of things that are just really not okay. Now, you say that, and she says that, or they say that. I don't know if it was a female or a male. It, it, it was a young lady, yes. Okay. Uh, they say that, however, it's always been that way. Just think about the, the stuff that, like, you go back and watch uh, an old Looney Tunes um an old Looney Tunes cartoon, which I love Looney Tunes, even to this day. Yeah. But there was some questionable shit, like. Very racist. Uh, racist, um, a little bit overly uh, sexual, like Pepe Le Pew fucking basically groping, gr- raping. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's it's funny you say that. And, and no, so I actually had kind of the, the same thought process you did when she was saying this. However, I don't think she was so much regarding I think she was talking about in terms of uh, uh, they, them, you know, the whole uh, gender equality thing, the LBGTQ. Oh, Some yeah, of the yeah. more subtle I, things I, I, um, I, that I, were being pushed I, in the show. I will say this. I have uh, a few friends who have, or have kids. Um, I'll just leave it at that. Um, and they have expressed the same type of feelings like um, – they they don't want them to watch certain stuff just because it's like yo why what why I I don't want my kid to see this yeah but this is supposed to be a kid show, um so I have I've heard that from quite a few parents to be yeah honest. and and then I think about it and and I really not I don't ride, try to overthink this uh, this subject in particular I really don't I don't spend my days looking out the window like hey what is this what is that, uh but but to your credit Jared. Um, There are things that we grew up watching that had very undertone, you know, subliminal kind of messages in them. But I feel it's a little different nowadays. Um, And when I say that, I say that in the sense is that people being uh, doing whatever they want to do in their personal lives has been going on for as long as time has been going on. It's obviously more out in the open nowadays, which is fine. It, It is. But we can clearly see anytime we turn a TV show on now or whatever it may be that they're like you're saying the far woke agenda is being pushed. Don't use that. Don't use agenda. Just say the far woke. The, the, just the far woke agenda. Uh, uh, we, uh, 
it always people will take when you say agenda negatively. Yeah. So don't use that. I'm just to figure out how to navigate this whole thing. Yeah. Use shit that they can't battle you with. Like, oh, it's about the agenda. You, what agenda is there? What like, that's that'll be the argument. And right. I didn't mean to do any specific type of whatever, but. There's a, there's always a, there's already a talking point against using that word. Yeah. And I'm not saying not to use the word because you can say whatever the fuck you want. But what I'm saying is when you're trying to make a point in the context of which it's used. Yes. Yeah, I got Just you. be careful how you use it. No, but you know what? Uh you kind of enlightened me there and I kind of knew it in the back of my head, but you're right. If you do go up to somebody and say, "Hey, this is a part of it." You're just asking for trouble yeah. and it, so I agree. Cuz cuz they're going to have a, an immediate talking point again. Like I said, the far woke will have an immediate talking point to fucking counter what it, what what you just said. So it all boiled down to her basically saying she was watching this show, and I can't remember which one it was. Um, but basically, a young boy came out in a dress and was telling their their parent. Yeah, we don't need details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But basically, oh, I want to be this, and then she was like, oh, nope, I am not letting subjecting my kid to this. Turn it off. And she was like, hey, you know, I'm, I don't want to be an anal parent, but she was like, some well, of this stuff is just I, a little see, suspect. I agree. Um, so, okay, so there's two sides for me on this one. Uh, there's the free speech, freedom of press thing. Yeah. Which I agree with, especially as a comedian mm-hmm. and as a podcaster. I agree. You should be able to say what you want and put out what you want and whatever your whatever is. Um, also, if you're a parent, you should also be aware, no matter which direction it is, whether it's, you don't want your kid to see what you were just saying, or you don't want your kid to see gun violence or whatever. It's up to you at that point to steer them in the right. And what she did, I feel again, I'm not a parent, so I don't know, but I think she did the right thing. Um, by not because she didn't want her child to be subject to that. The only thing that I would see with the issue would, would be, I don't even think it's an issue to be honest, because if you're unaware of it as a kid, it's not really your fault. Like when you go to school and then the, the school starts trying to push that type of stuff, that's when, and, and I've, um, Oh, this is a very layered conversation. I like this. Yeah, there's yeah, a yeah, few. Yeah, there's yeah, a few yeah, different yeah, layers yeah. to it because I like, I like this. I've, I've, um, again, b- kind of back to the beginning of woke. Um, I remember my buddy has actually been on the show before a long time ago. He needs to come back on Tony. Um, I remember he was talking. He was talking about to his um uh, again to the, about the Columbus stuff and like the what he was teaching his son at home about basically what black people go through in the country or, or the history of things and telling him like, okay, this is blah, blah, blah. But the school saying something different. And then he got called in because his son voiced what he was teaching him at home. He goes, he calls him in or the teacher called him to the school. He was like, you can't tell him this. And he's like, wait, what? The fuck you mean? I can't tell him. It's like you can, I can't tell him the truth. I can't teach him what the truth. Well, this is because again that that whole it, it disrupts propa- the 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 program. Kind of, yeah. But the whole propaganda machine that's being pushed out there is the issue. But this is what again. This is the same thing when it comes to the Florida thing with uh, what's his fucking name, DeSantis. Yeah, and how he was trying to get the um. What's the, the 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 trying to trying to ban certain books and talking about you can't uh, what was the, the critical race theory stuff? Yes, yes, I do. I do remember that was a pretty. This is the exact same thing as that. It's like whoa, oh, you can't. I can't. So I can't teach my child the right shit, or no, I don't even want to say. It may not. I don't know. It's hard to say whether it's the right shit or not. But well, I will say this. And when I was in in school, and I know obviously when you were in school. You know, we, we grew up in a different time. Um, I, I really only remember um, one time. Let me let me work on it, Nepic. I'll get to it. I, I really remember only one time um, 
my dad, we went to, you know, him and my mom came to the parent teacher conference, you know, everybody in elementary school knows they do it every year, you know, Hey, this is how your kid's doing, you know, let you know. And I remember no bullshit. And my teacher at the time, she was, uh, she was a good teacher. She was nice. She was a little bit of a bitch sometimes uh, cause I, she was younger. I don't want to use alt right. I think alt right is, is already has a connotation to it that, um, is very negative. So I want to kind of, I don't think far woke is, has a negative connotation. Um, I want to, I want to find, I, I, I think alt-right is way too harsh. That's a very fringe category, but go ahead. I'm and, sorry. I was just reading their comments. No, you're good, dude. You're good. But I do remember one time and my dad's always gone to these, he always came to these conferences, took time off work to go with them. And I remember this was uh, my fourth grade teacher. Again, she was a nice lady. She was a little bit of a bitch, but you're a kid. Um, you know, you gotta be a teacher. Um, but I remember we were sitting at the table and they, and the parents were talking and I'm just sitting there thinking about playing WrestleMania 2000, you know, whatever. Um, and when we're leaving, when we're walking out in the parking lot, my mom was like, Oh, I thought she was pretty nice. And my dad was like, no, I didn't like her. And I, and my mom was like, why? And he was like, well, one, and it was kind of weird for me to hear my dad say this, um, just knowing the guy that he was, but he said, she was chewing gum the whole time she was talking to us. She, yeah. And he was like, he was like, that's unprofessional. He said, I don't like that. This was a teacher. This was a teacher. Oh yeah. She was, she right. was chewing gum while yeah, she was nah. talking to my, my mom and dad and my, and she was very sweet to them. Don't get me wrong. But my dad was like, I don't like her. She was chewing gum. And she was like, this is about now, now uh, to judge her entire character on the fact that she's chewing gum. That's a bit much. That, well, you didn't know my dad. So, you know, I think from what you've told me, I kind of understand where he's, he was, he's a blue collar guy and he, and even you said like, it's American. Yeah. He drank Budweiser and no, I get it. I trust me. I get it. He was a factory worker, right? Yeah. And, uh, I, 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 I'm more aware than you think I am. And, uh, no. And I just, it always, I didn't really understand that at the time. With the way my dad, he was like, nah, she was chewing gum. He, was he like, has a so, point, yeah, but I, I wouldn't judge her entire character on that. No, no, and I don't know if he was doing that at the time. Maybe he was just, obviously, that's the only time you ever met her. So, you know, they say first impressions mean a lot. So yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. if he was, and knowing my dad, I know he was a very complex thinker too. I know he wasn't like, oh, this bit, this this woman is teaching my kid the wrong thing. <laughs> Sorry, I was about to go that route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, but, I, um, but I'll just never forget that. And it's but like, you think you're the same way though. You, you, you may not come off it all the time, but you are, you're a complex thinker and, and you're, you're very self-aware, which I think is very lost. A lot, a lot of people are not self aware bro. I went through some shit. I don't want to say went through some shit. It wasn't nothing like crazy, but you need me to get the Draco. And blast these motherfuckers for you, Jerry. No, it's not worth it. Um, I, I got my, <laughs> I got my, my. He considered it. I got my just. No, I. No. We're Give going, me the blicky. We're going yeah. too many directions. Uh, sorry, I just wanted to, to, to do um, that. Please continue. So something. Uh, first, let me. God damn it, RJ, you fucking throwing me. I'm sorry, dude. So it's funny that the epic said that he was like, I bet she told told you, RJ, that you had um, ADD. Uh, I don't know. Here's one thing, probably did. You, I, I, I told you, I still think you do. Um, I am smart. However, there's a. I've been diagnosed with it, so I know, and I've studied a, about it, and I know how I am. Like you can see it sometimes, especially on this. Like I just, it just happened two seconds ago. My brain is just, doo, 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 doo. and then I'll forget what I was doing on the last thing, and I like. I have to figure rewind. It's, it's a whole bunch of shit that goes along with it. Um, but then there's also people who say that uh, black boys are diagnosed with ADD or ADHD far more than white boys um, as kids. Um, just because for whatever reason, maybe behavioral issues, the school system doesn't want to deal with them in whatever way. So they put them in these classes away so they're not. But we got layers to this shit. Hold dude. on. Oh, yeah, that's 100. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I, I've been through this shit, so I know. So then, and you know what? And I think about it like this. I would rather have been in those classes because 
it was fucking boring sitting in those fucking regular classes with those fucking regular dumbass. I won't say. I'm, I'm sorry. Let me rewind this back a little bit. With those regular Andes in fucking English or math class, and they're all sitting looking at the teacher like, <laughs> like in my Crayola. Here's the fucking <laughs> Apple <laughs> teacher, know. like you fucking nine to five loser. Yeah. Fuck you. And I'm not talking anybody who played, it was a nine to fiver or whatever. I'm just saying. I have never been one to be able to just fucking sit for fucking eight hours and do a fucking job. Like, that's why I do all the fucking shit that I want to do, because I want to get the fuck out of that fucking rat wheel. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we don't like the fucking rat wheel I'm, I'm about here. to get on my fucking... Okay, so then Epic also said, I feel like I would have definitely gotten along with... Uh, oh, yeah, you would have definitely gotten along with, with RJ's dad. Oh, dude, my dad and... and, and um. And I think I'll we say, all would have, to be honest. Yeah, dude, my dad was real cool. I will tell you the 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 good handful of times I had some of my buddies over for the sleepovers. And, and he all sounds that. like a movie guy too. So. Oh, dude, my dad was. A, well, that's why I'm such a big film guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So my dad was really cool. He had his obviously moments as a, as a person. We all do. But um, he everybody that met him enjoyed him. Um, and so uh, I it wouldn't. Uh, uh, there's not a doubt in my mind that everybody would like hanging out with him. Um, my dad was just a cool dude, man. Um, but I do just remember that conversation vaguely and I didn't understand it as a kid, but as I get older, you know, if you're put it this way, man, like if you are, and we know some people, we are that age now where some of our friends are in the school system. They're actually, you were a substitute teacher, you yeah, know, where you're, I, I've worked with after school kids also. And so, and when you're working with the youth, I mean, dude, your character and your overall demeanor has such a massive impact, and I'm going to give one and probably the best example. I already, in our, know, where you, I already and, know where you're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Coach Hill, man. Really, but think about that episode uh, one something. Is it one, like, yeah. Go back well, and watch. Uh, it. Yeah, please, please. We uh, actually got it. We should get him over here. Again. I uh, I don't mind. I will I will happily shoot that gentleman a message. Um, but yeah, seriously, when I don't think a lot of people, at least maybe when they're younger, or maybe even nowadays, thinking they're a teacher the impact they have on lives. And maybe that's why they get into teaching to change well, people's lives. And, and, and I'll tell you this. Um, when I first started doing it, I, I liked it. Um, I, I, I literally was thinking, cause I was around all these other teachers and there was, I was asking them like, what do I need to do to be a, this, that, and the other thing at this time, I didn't have my master's degree. Um, but I have my bachelor's and it was like, yeah, you do this and that. And, I wasn't making a lot of money at the time, so the money that they were making was, uh, it was like, okay, I, if they can live on this, I, I'm, I can probably do it. Um, so I, I was seriously thinking about being a teacher at one point because I want, I really wanted to do. I thought about it too. Obviously, what, what, which, which, uh, uh, subject do you think that I was gonna wanted to do the most? Uh, I, I would have to say science. Yeah, um, earth science was the one. Yeah, that I, I, I mean, that's that's kind of a given. If I would have said something other than that, this would probably be the last time you saw me yeah, on this podcast. Much. I want to do earth science really bad. Um, there probably wasn't any openings at the time where I wanted to be at. Uh, and plus, I would have had to get certifications and all that. Um, and then maybe PE. But PE is kind of wild because like, you, got, you got a lot. You got to do a lot. Science, they just got to fucking be in class, yeah. and that's it. And then you teach them the stuff. But anyway, so I, there was a time I wanted to do it, and yes, you get into it because you feel like you think you can make an impact on the community. It's like, oh, I grew up in this community. I think by me doing this, I can give back to it yeah. in this way. Yeah. Um. But then I just started seeing, like, like, uh, I can make a lot more money in IT. Yeah, no, <laughs> and 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 it's kind of and that's that's kind of it's kind of sad that you say that because um, teachers are it just in general are very 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 much underpaid. Um, and in my yeah, it's just it's the I look at it like this. Um, it's the sim it's similar. The pay wage is similar, although the retirement is pretty far from what I've heard. I, I think they've changed it since then, but. Um, it's similar to the minimum wage thing. Yeah. How minimum wage was like until recently, like 
fucking 725. Man, dude, wow, dude. Oh, man. And I was watching something today, and they were like, you know, imagine you work an entire 40 week, 40 hour week. After taxes, you make $40. It, it's crazy. That's fucking crazy. So I'm glad you brought that up. So the uh, the young man at work that I have, uh, who's been shadowing me for the last two weeks, his family is from Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's been all over the uh, the country. Comes from a kind of a military family. Um, he told me because we were talking about the cost of living out here because he just actually came back from California. Mm-hmm. Um, and he said he said, hey, my cousin out in you know you know bumfuck Wyoming wherever. Works a minimum wage job out there for eight fifty something like or whatever it is out whatever there. Whatever it is, yeah. yeah. He was like, she's got her own apartment, she's got her own utilities, all this other stuff, and can can basically live her life off of the whole minimum wage. Well, that's out there. Wyoming. There's yeah, nothing yeah, yeah. out yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, no, There's no but, people out there. Yeah, I get that. I get that. But There's it's no infra- just, There's probably no internet <laughs> yeah, unless you get a Starlink from fucking <laughs> Elon. <laughs> Put a rod in the air and hope no, for a fucking No, you can get Starlink. You can get, uh, that's the whole reason he's doing that whole thing. And it, it's just crazy because it, w- there's so many expectations from the general public to like, hey, you know, go to work, slave away, blah, 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 this, this, and well, that. Well, again, that's, that's the, again, what we were talking about with the, um, the fucking schools, like they're, they're building the nine to fibers um, to go out and do that exact thing. You go, you fucking got graduate college or high school, go to college or not go to college, find a job either way, and you work that job until you fucking, at this point, die because you can't afford anything. It sucks, dude. Yeah, so that's why this podcast is not only the best podcast in the world and North America, and yes, soon to be Cuba. You heard it here first, folks. It's very important. It really, really is. That's why we're going to continue to do the podcast. We're going to keep doing the podcast, and we're going to keep going and going and going. There's no, um, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, as I like to say here on the Bad Scientist Live podcast. Uh, being a teacher depends heavily on the state they live in. Um, kind of. Uh, I kind of agree with that. I, uh, it's but still I look an underpaying at, job. I'll, I'll put it this way. When I was looking into it, um, f- being a fresh teacher with just a bachelor's degree, you'd get the paid the same amount as a police officer in this county. I'm not going to name the county because that narrows it. You know where we are, but that that narrows it down. It's kind of wild, dude. Yeah, that's hey, not hey, a hey. lot of money. We got to oh, the fucking batteries going low on that show, so we might have to shut it down here pretty soon. That's okay. That's all right. I mean, uh, I'm going to take a trip to Cuba and listen to this so you guys can have that. Do- oh no, well that's. <laughs> That's the RJ's thing. It, it, oh, it's if it, put it this way, I'll know we made it if say one day, ten years from now, I'm on a cruise, you know, near Cuba, and I can see the horizon of Cuba from the boat, and then I can just see on somebody's yacht that they have out on the Cuban shore a flag of the Mad Scientist Lab logo on their boat. I'll know we made it, and that's uh, that's the goal, folks. That's the goal, at least for me. At least for me. Jared's is probably a little different than mine, but you know. That's what makes us work. Wrap it up, B. And wrap it before you tap it. It's a good motto. Anyway, so before we end the show, I we just want to wish everybody a very safe and happy new year. Uh, do not drink and drive. Get that Uber. Have a good time. Thank you for making this podcast awesome. Smoke all the weed. No, don't do that. Yeah, I mean. I mean, it, you can if you want. I don't, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Well, do what you do. Do what you do. Hopefully, RJ will fucking... Get his shit straight, and we'll be in fucking Austin, Texas uh, at the end of January. See, as he drinks his drink, that means he's and, not. Uh, as I drink my drink. As I drink my drink. No, but uh, it has been a wonderful year celebrating another great, epic year of the Mad Scientist Lab podcast. We are looking forward to an, a phenomenal 2024, putting our best foot forward. And as always, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Be safe. And we will see you guys next week when 2024 arrives. Peace. Peace. Hit you so hard you won't see nothing ever, 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 ever. Audio scars all day, day, day.
the merit sciences lab. With the merit sciences lab. With the merit sciences lab. With the merit sciences lab. You can't have an opinion on something that you haven't even tried. Exactly. The, the, the merit science.